noticed there was a gap in services for um, individuals who couldn't participate in our programs anymore and felt um, that an adult day center would be really wonderful so we could keep people involved in the community. And that's, that's how the, uh, the idea started. You ready to kick butt? Margaret, what's the main ingredient? <laughs> Love. <laughs> and the capital fat ones, huh? <laughs> That's pretty. I think this is pretty. Mm hmm You always had a big flower garden, didn't you? Yes, ma'am. What kind of flowers did you have in your garden? It started with one gentleman coming and slowly, slowly, slowly it developed. I was able to hire staff that had some real um, expertise in dementia care and forward thinking and very creative staff. We believe that people that are highly engaged in conversation, that are highly engaged in relationships, and that are highly engaged in activities that they have chosen lead a better life and they lead, have a better sense of wellness and lead a healthier lifestyle. We really get to know the individuals on a very special and very deep level we're able to wrap our arms around our participants, not only physically by being so warm and welcoming, but by also wrapping our programs around the individual so that the individual um, needs are met. He's exposed to really great art, great music, meditative, healthy endeavors, crafts, good exercise, I mean, things that make his day really profoundly interesting for him. We have a guest speaker today. His name is Jonah Kaplan. He is from Channel 4 News. And he came so nice on his afternoon off to have a discussion group with us on current events on what's going on in the news. We now on staff have an individual who does yoga and she does Reiki and she does meditation and visual meditation. Oh, I think just knowing that he has a place to come where he's safe, where he's engaged, and where he can do something that makes him feel like a person again, that he has value. And it's a growing kind of situation. You grow learning so much more than if you didn't have that opportunity. It completely changed our lives. My life got better. His life got better, we were all happy. When he can come home and joke about something that he did, or just come home happy, oh, that's just a wonderful thing. You call me every night and tell me, you know, like, this is what we did today, and, you know, those people are really great. I love coming oh, thank you. Yeah, I like coming here. Yeah. We take a great deal of time to really get to know each and every person and what their likes are now and what their likes are a long time ago. And then we incorporate that into their plan of care. So everyone has a very specific individualized program just for them. Each person they treat, you know, individually and they were having problems, you know, communicating with them. And Don took the time to you know, sit down with me, you know, to find out more about my dad's past and who he was so she could communicate and make things, make it a more pleasurable stay for him. You know, she didn't have to do that. By really understanding somebody and getting to know somebody, you can find commonalities. And when you find those commonalities, they can lead to wonderful relationships. And those wonderful relationships can become a wonderful community. I think it's important that um, everyone really understands that we're here for them, that sometimes when families are stuck or things are a little bit more difficult at home, that the day center is really there for them. And that, you know, part of my job as a social worker is really to help people know about the resources in the community and the things that we can help them with here. I recently heard that Alzheimer's disease in a decade is going to be a disease of the middle aged. And we are already starting to see that. He's diagnosed at 59, young, yeah. yeah. We started our recharge program. It's really a class. 
and it's a class for people to come and learn strategies, learning techniques about how to, how to remember things. There are lawyers and doctors and social workers and teachers. Cutting edge brain research that's actually put into the program, incorporated into the program, not just the knowledge of it, but actually utilizing it. There's always an educational piece to the class, there's a creative piece, there's, we work on the six different main abilities of the brain, such as mental speed, language recall, memory, judgment, and we do this in a very fun way. The group that we have has just become so connected and they're supportive of each other and it's fun. Who would you follow around for an entire year if you could? Could be somebody alive or somebody that's passed? Anyone that was giving out free food samples. Anyone who was giving out free food samples. The free food sample girl at Sendix. He comes home with things from the recharge program that I look at and think, wow, I should be doing this. All my friends should be doing this. Every baby boomer should be doing this. The program is extremely helpful. Loneliness is more destructive than no physical exercise, is what the new research is saying. People are congenial and appreciative of the situation I find myself in. I can't remember the name of the program half the time. What? Recharge. Recharge. When we get together, it's a group. We all know if we can really sense what other people are going through as well as I am or they are, whatever. So that it really makes it, it gives you a positive encouragement. We're able to provide that wonderful respite for the caregiver in addition to uh, providing the great programs and services we have for those individuals. This program here has helped me immensely in feeling the comfort and understanding that Elaine is allowed and given a chance to be who she is now, but also given me a chance to uh, sort of uh, step back for uh, a couple of hours and to refresh and replenish, uh, and thereby making our time together uh, even that much more meaningful at the end of the day. Just knowing that I'm not alone in this journey it's wonderful. I love the community that's in the program. I love that people come every day and they have a sense of purpose. I love the fact that there are people who were homebound, didn't interact with people, and come to our program and they're interacting and they're fulfilling their potential. I love the fact that the family members are so happy with our program. I couldn't be more thankful. I couldn't be more thankful that he is in this program. <laughs> I always cry. I know that she is in the best possible place that she can be under the existing circumstances. That's a godsend. You can live a good life and have a, a meaningful life even with memory loss. love me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now I have another new lover. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Well, oh, you're a good-looking man. I can see why you'd be an actor. Well, I use makeup. <laughs> Oh, his hair too. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah, really brown. Okay. <laughs>